Since its launch, the 640 has been the best selling caravan in the Phoenix range. And once we step inside the Phoenix GT75 640, you will see why. Spacious and lightweight, it has an MT PLM of just over 1400 kilos, which means you can tow it with a medium sized car such as Kia's Sportage. There's lots of storage too, which you can access either uh, via the beds inside or the locker doors on the outside. And talking of doors, there's a new door fitted, which has a high security lock. It's also a stable door, which means you can keep your unruly children or dogs inside, but have that ventilation and sunshine thanks to opening the top part. But let's go inside and take a look. The lounge in the 640 has two modes. It has day mode and night mode. At the moment it's set up in day mode and this is the standard upholstery. An optional upholstery is also available and that comes with AquaClean. So that means if you have any dirty dogs or children and they spill anything on your seats, you can simply clean it off with some water. Now for nighttime mode, you have two options. These can either be used as single beds, they're five foot 11 long, or you can pull the center section out and make it up into a generous double. Lots of storage around the lounge as well, with these overhead lockers, as well as this chest, which has this handy pull out occasional table, or you can get the freestanding table and put it there. The kitchen has plenty of worktop space, not only around the sink, but also opposite above this Dometic fridge freezer. The hob is a four burner unit and sits under this handy cover. And there's also a separate oven and grill. Above the oven is a microwave and you won't need a glass plate for this or even have to worry about storing it when you travel. Lots of storage as well. Two lockers above and three separate cupboards here, one of which is a cutlery drawer. So whether you're traveling as a couple or a family, you'll have plenty of room to cook those meals. One of the major upgrades for the GT75 range is the media center. Now, rather than having the car style radio, which used to live up by the front locker in the lounge, there is now a separate portable Sonos speaker. Um, also, if you've got your phone, there's wireless charging in the media center and two separate USB slots, which just pop up. Now, talking of technology, the GT75 has five 230 volt sockets. In addition to these two USBs, here are three more in the van, and we also have Truma Combi heating. Now, let's not forget also that if you wish to fit Wi Fi, the GT75s come pre wired for Wi Fi. The washroom's in the middle of the 640 and comes equipped with a large separate shower and opposite the loo the basin and more storage. Now, it's worth noting that these doors can either be used to close the toilet itself. This door can then close off the front section if you have visitors in the front. And there's also a sliding door to the rear that separates the bedroom. So you could either shut all doors and have access from the front or the rear or leave them open for that really roomy feel. The 640 has a bedroom at the rear of the caravan and is fitted with this island bed. Now there are two modes for the bed. There's day mode and night mode. Day mode gives you more room at the bottom to walk around or for more sleeping room, all you do is you simply slide the bed out and then it gives you much more room. Uh, the back of the mattress just folds down, move your pillows back and you're ready to sleep. Now talking of the bed, if you'd like to store picnic chairs or slightly bulkier items, you can simply lift the bed up and store them underneath. Now either side of the bed, there are small wardrobe units, individual wardrobe units with hanging space and separate cupboards below. There are also separate lockers above and there are reading lights with USB points if you want to charge your phone, your iPad or similar. Now you, with the bed back, you could also use this as a dressing area. So there's a large mirror here, um, a plug for a hairdryer, shaver or similar and a handy shelf. And opposite that, there's another storage unit with a shelf above. In summary, the 640 has an interior layout that's divided into three separate sections. You have the bedroom at the rear, which has that island bed, a center washroom, and the front lounge. Now this means it's a great couples van, or it's ideal if you're traveling as a family with up to four people. 